and there was an old sun shining that you could see. Lotus coming down through the, the fall, I guess. And I got sunburned so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got burnt bad. And, um, uh, After we got through there, we went on up the coast to, it wasn't San Bernardino, what was it, Santa Barbara? Huh. Can't remember. But I caught a bunch of these little bitty crabs, put them in a jar and poured alcohol on them. And <laughs> I brought them home with me when I came home. <laughs> <laughs> Bet those crabs didn't like that. Yeah, they they were pickled pretty well. <laughs> pickled crabs. <laughs> I kept them for a long time. But they were a little bitty fan crabs, I guess. And them little suckers could run, man. I'd get after one and have to chase it down. And, <laughs> and they, they can run. But we went over to San Francisco from there. And I was sun, sunburnt so bad. That when I put my dress on, I had just a, where my swimsuit had been, you know, just fiery red, my face was, my arms, even my legs. Mm -hmm. And everybody else over there, it was cold enough over San Francisco, had their coats on and jackets and stuff like that. I did good to stand putting my dress on, let alone anything else. Mm -hmm. I was burnt so bad. And like, you know, like I said, there was no sunshine. But they said that, that burns you quicker than if the sun had been a shining. Yeah, the, the sun rays, huh. even if you can't see it, still get you. Well, you don't realize since you're not seeing any sun, you don't realize that the sun is shining on you. Santa Cruz. That's where we was at, Santa Cruz. But I never have been to a beach, you know, around, other than just that. I see. And that was just one time. Hmm. Well, I think you ought to, uh -huh. you, ought to you ought to get out there. <laughs> Feel the sand between your toes. Mom's always telling me it's good for your feet. Does it bother you to walk barefooted on the beach? Nope. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, there are places close to the water where there's lots of crushed shells. And that's a little uncomfortable to walk on. But as long as the sand is clean, um, which it, it usually is in the morning, uh, it feels pretty comfortable, pretty soft. The water's usually pretty warm. The last time we were there, Mom described the temperature of the water as 
like bath water. And uh, oh, really, yeah, because uh, it was like my dad said it was eighty one degrees. That's that's what they measured the temperature in the water to be was eighty one degrees. And I I thought it was a little cold. I go say tap water sometimes pretty cold. Yeah. I'd probably put on a pair of tennis shoes and <laughs> wind up my shoes full of sand. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the only one. Yeah, that sand gets everywhere. Hmm. But there's usually places you can wash it off before you get in the car. Yeah, I have, I've got a dedicated pair of sandals just for the beach. I got them... You don't worry about cutting your feet on shells and stuff like that? No, not mm -hmm. no. The there usually aren't any shells back where people rest. It's just oh, okay. it's just really close to the water that there's any shells. Yeah. And then usually well, it's it depends on where it is. Cuz some places uh there are lots of broken shells close to the water, but in other places it's just really soft sand. Yeah. That's close to the water. It, uh, it just depends on where it gathers up. But, uh, yeah, the sand, sand itself is always soft. And I've never stepped on anything in the, in the beach, on the beach before, so. Did you go swimming? Uh, I did get in the water, but I don't usually, I, I don't know how to swim. So I usually don't go too deep in the water. Yeah. But, uh, I do, I, I do usually get in the water. Not for long though. I like to, I like to stay on, on the sand and not yeah. so much on in the water. I think I'd be scared to get in the water. <laughs> oh, you can, you don't have to get in all the way. You can just get it up to your ankles or something. That's usually what. That's usually what mom does. Is she she doesn't get too deep into the water. I don't get too deep in the water. <laughs> yeah, you get to lay out, when you lay on the beach, you get to well, provided the weather is obliging. You get to, to stare up at the blue sky and pick out what you see in the clouds, it's, which I like to do. I like to look at the clouds roll by as I uh, lay on the beach. Huh. Yeah, it's really, I, it's, I'm just really relaxed on the beach. Huh. That's what I like to do the most. Which one were you all at? Was that where you was it? Uh, well, this time around we were at a beach called Coquina. Um, which is, uh, <coughs> well, I couldn't explain it to you where it is because I never know. <laughs> Dad does all the driving usually when I go to Florida. I know it was Jesse and Crystal. They went through Tennessee and North Carolina, South Carolina. Oh. And they went to Myrtle Beach. Oh. And that's in one of the Carolinas. They were supposed to be gone two weeks, but I don't think they were gone two weeks. No, I don't think they were. Cause because they're already back. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook that she... Mm -hmm. They're already back. I don't think, I know I wouldn't want to live in either one of the Carolinas. Hmm. How come? <laughs> I've read too much stuff about both of them. 
<laughs> yeah, don't make it so. Uh. Was one of the war wars fought? Where part of it fought, fought in the Carolinas? That sounds familiar, but unfortunately I've forgotten everything that I learned in school. I did, <clears throat> I did have a niece living there, I think in North Carolina. But I think she moved to Orlando, Florida. Hmm. From one coast to the next. Hmm. Good thing I'm not eating out anywhere. I would embarrass myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't be the biggest slob. <laughs> Some people got no sense. 